Atlanta Lee Haney is the most acclaimed bodybuilder in history. Yes, even more so than Arnold Schwarzenegger. Lee has retired from competition, but not from spreading his message of healthy living. When I became serious about working out, I went to Lee Haney's World Class Fitness Center. Most of my five-day workout is supervised by Robert Lewis, but I can feel Lee's influence. Squeeze at the top. That's good. That's it. <laughs> Boy, can I feel Lee's influence. Lee Haney says he loves to help people stay fit. He offers his skills at seminars and on cable television, totally fit. And he's trained other athletes, most notably boxing's former world champion, Evander Holyfield. The moves that made him famous evolved from workouts Lee Haney practiced as a young boy in South Carolina. That's where his mother told him he was special, where his father instilled in him a desire for excellence in anything he attempted. I never, ever had a doubt in my abilities and nothing that I've set out to do. Except for football. Oh, 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 you know, it was my dream to be Jim Brown. And the weightlifting, for the most part, uh, was used to help enhance my abilities in playing football. But, you know, the coach would say, break a leg, Haney, and I would break a leg. <laughs> so my junior year in high school, after the second game, I broke a leg, and then I ended up in the weight room. I went in weighing 150 pounds came out weighing 180 pounds. Then my senior year in high school, uh, after the fifth game, I received, a, uh, I received a break to the other leg. Again, here we go again, back in the weight room, I went in weighing 190 pounds, came out weighing 214 pounds. So I continued to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So I said, well, let's uh, take this year on the road. Okay, I gotta ask this. I've always wanted to ask you this. Mm -hmm. And so I'm finally going to ask it. The oil that you put on, mm -hmm. who puts it on, and why do you have to put that, like, grease on? I'll tell you. And how do you get it off? <laughs> you know, you know the reason why we wear the oil, okay? Now, after you get the skin nice and thin for competition and all the veins are showing, you put the oil on so that it would, when the light shines down, it would reflect every ounce of the definition. And normally we start oiling up. Uh, the night before the competition. You the night on, before? The night before. Because your skin is so dry from having, from not having uh, a lot of liquids in it or fats. And so the skin is very dry. And then, you know, of course, you do some sunbathing a week prior to the competition or use the tanning bed. Yes, black guys do use the tanning bed. For to, what? To even the color of the skin out and draw and draw the last bit of moisture from between the skin and the muscle. Yes, we do use that. And so we have to all down to, to put the moisture back so that we, we, we don't become dry while we're standing there on stage. At the height of his bodybuilding career, Lee Haney weighed between 245 and 250 pounds, stood 5 feet 11 inches, and could bench press 500 pounds. Ultimately, he won the Oscar, the Pulitzer, the Peabody of bodybuilding, the Mr. Olympia title eight times, a record no one has broken. He's won hundreds of thousands of dollars in prize money. And to do it, Lee Haney had to beat the record set by the popular and former Mr. Olympia, now actor, Arnold Schwarzenegger. And you were an outsider. I don't want to emphasize too much the fact you're African American, but let's be honest here. This is not a field where you see a great number of African Americans. What was it like? Well, it was, it was rough. It was rough. Uh, the only thing that I, I've tried to do uh, in, as I competed as a competitor was to just be Lee Haney, you know. And, and I think in just being Lee Haney, you know, when I first went to California, it was, and, and I never thought anything of it. It was only me. I looked at bodybuilding as my job. Nothing more than that. So I've enjoyed myself, and I think that had a lot to do with the train of thought of the judges and being able to bring about a change of the a change in the attitude of the sport. Now, you know, one thing that I did have to battle in is the fact that being Mr. Olympia eight years in a, in a row, I only got two covers of muscle and fitness. 
you know, and I wasn't quiet about it. I did speak to the powers that be concerning that. And uh, I, I, you know, it was a very was disheartening thing. Well, I was, I, I was told, and this is a fact, by uh, Muscle and Fitness magazine, that when we put blacks on the cover, it cuts down on magazine sales. That's a fact. And, you know, having grown up and wanting to be and becoming the best, and when you're told something like that, it really hurts. But, and again, that hurt didn't stop me. You know, it just gave me more fire. And Fire fueled by years of discipline and dedication to his sport. Fire fueled by his wife and business partner, Shirley. She's been his biggest supporter. A lot of my uh, management team say, they said to me, well, Lee, you got seven. That's safe. Only one that had six in a row, but seven overall. I said, you got seven in a row. And then I asked Shirley, I said, well, do you think I should go, go on and try for eight? She said, and she said it in such a, uh, she's, it appears as though I must have been out of my mind for asking her that. She said, what do you mean should you go for eight? What are you saying? You, you, you have to do eight. You, you can't not try to do eight. Shirley Haney knew her husband had invested a lot, and she had too. They've been married 11 years, but they've been sweethearts since the second grade. Matter of fact, it was Shirley in 1979 when I trained for the Teenage America. I was laying brick on the side because that's, that was one of the trades I learned going through junior high school. Plus, I worked at a grocery store bagging groceries, you know, at the same time going to school. And I ran out of money. And Shirley, uh, she worked as a page at the library, so she gave me her whole check to pay my application fee and part of my expenses going to Detroit. And I won the show. And he's been paying ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Together they have two children, Joshua and Olympia, named after his bodybuilding title. Damn, that's good. It's a school night, and even strongman Lee Haney has a tough time tearing his kids away from the lure of visitors and cameras. Wait a minute, slow down. Are you supposed to be skating in the house? You're doing crunches, girl. Like a lot of parents, Lee and Shirley struggle with attention to careers and attention to children. And no matter how hard you try, the guilt gets to you. I, I told Shirley, listen, I don't want to be the man anymore. I'm just, I don't want to be the bad guy. I mean, Olympia, look at me with them big eyes. I was like, oh, boy. It's yeah. a place where a child can be a child. Mm -hmm. Lee's love for children extends beyond his home. This year, Lee and Shirley bought 40 acres in College Park to start the Harvest House. It's a bit of country in the city, a weekend retreat for all children and senior citizens. We got a little bit of everything here, conference rooms, and uh, then we have uh, connected to the house, the horse stables, washrooms. So, uh, it's a kid place. It's a, it's a place for kids. For Lee, it's a step towards the future and the past. It's such a wonderful thing, and I get such a joy from it, too, because it's, it's as though I can reach back and grab a little piece of me that was there when I was growing up and still there. It's always important for us to keep some kid in us. I think when we get, and I pray that I don't get too business-oriented or too corporate-oriented, because when you lose that little special quality, that kid in us, we lose something real special. And I think that should always remain. I don't ever want to lose that part of me. Never. After Lee Haney won the title that ensured him a long-standing place in the record books, he considered living permanently in California to pursue an acting career, like colleague Arnold Schwarzenegger. So movies aren't as important as they might have been five or six years ago. I'm not Arnold. You know, I think God put all of us, I know that he put all of us here for a purpose. Maybe that was Arnold's purpose. But in my heart, I don't feel it's Lee Haney's purpose. The city of Atlanta must agree with Lee Haney's fitness program. His workout gym shares space with city offices on Ponce de Leon Avenue. In exchange for a comfortable rental agreement, Lee offers a discount to city employees.